hi, this is Create Your Own here today. Um, this is my first video, but today I'm going to talk a little bit about what it is I like to do and what my videos are mostly going to be about on my channel. Um, my videos are mostly going to be tutorials on how to build things, make things, craft things, uh, accessories for your electronics, things around the house, pretty much a variety of things. Um, but today, for my first video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own um, stylus for your electronic devices. So, first I'll show you what it is you need. Uh, using only household items, most likely you'll, you will have most of these around, lying around your house somewhere. And if not, you won't be paying very much money to buy them. So, then again, most of my videos are going to be using household items. So, here is, are the materials you'll be needing for this tutorial. Um, you will need a sponge, just any old sponge that you found around the house. Um, you'll need a paper clip. You could use a wire instead, but I'm going to use a paper clip just because it's a bit easier to push through sponge. So here are two examples of my styluses. Good thing about these is that they're also pens. So you can write with them, take them anywhere you need, but you can still use them to touch your screen or your device without wrecking it. So um, as you can see, paper clip, the metal, goes right through the plastic into the sponge, um, which is how you get electricity from your fingers onto the metal that goes through the sponge and then gets transmitted onto your screen. So, I'll be showing you how to make this. You'll need, most importantly, importantly you'll need a pen. Uh, any pen will work as long as it's not a click pen. Um, and you can easily remove the back and th the ink. You'll need a hammer and a nail to make your holes through the plastic. You'll need scissors to cut and you'll need optional you'll need a pencil or a pen to push through the sponge so to start off with um, you'll need some sponge so this is the sponge I've got here right now um, you'll only need about this much sponge um, to cut so I've already cut my own which I've got right here it's not the biggest piece but it'll work See, it's not very big. It's only about the size of my finger. Um, and then what you'll need is to grab your pen. Uh, remove the back. Which you can easily do by just pulling. Most of the time you can just pull it out. And you'll want to pull out your ink as well. Sometimes you'll need scissors or pliers to pull them out. You'll need your sponge. Um, now this part's pretty simple. You grab your sponge and twist it as th to make it as thin as possible to push through. Which will make your job a lot easier. So you'll just push that right through. It takes some practice. It can be kind of hard, but... If you do it right, it's pretty simple, as you can see right now, I'm doing pretty well. If your sponge, let's say, um, cuts into two by accident while you're pushing through it, it's okay, just keep, just put in the second piece and nothing will happen, because it's, as long as the sponge is touching, it will still work, so, and it'll need to go up to about here, for, um, that'll make it much better quality. I know it won't be the most stylish um, st stylus that you'll make, that you'll ever make or see, but you know it's it's useful, it's easy, and maybe you don't want to go out and buy a bunch of the materials. So, see now it's starting to get a little bit harder, and that's when you'll need your pen or pencil to just maybe push it right through. As you can see, it's a it's much easier now that I've used it. So twist it right in there. So mine's about the appro uh, an appropriate length. 
Um, so now what you'll want to do is grab your scissors and snip off the end and trim the edges and the top to a shape that will be easy to use for your as your tip so you'll want to make sure that it's not too big too small you know what I mean or it's got like a big lump somewhere because this is what you'll be using to touch your screen and you might make it a little bit harder to touch um, for it to work if you don't have a so this, these are my old ones so this as you can see right here it's a good shape um, obviously once you get start to use it more and the shape is better because it's been squished so then that's what you'll want to do um, now this is the next step is probably the hardest step um, of making the stylus um, if you can't use a hammer by yourself proper, or properly then you might want to get a parent or a friend to help you with it so what you'll want to do is grab your nail this is what mine looks like you can use a screw but I prefer using a hammer and a nail um, you'll choose a spot between the end of the sponge and the tip so what you'll want to do is find a spot I'm going to put mine near the the beginning here so that it, my um, paper clip can just twirl all the way around um, just, to, just like this and like this uh, which is where you'll be holding your stylus most of the time um, and that's how it works so just grab your nail and grab your hammer find the spot you want to make the hole in now this part's hard, you have to put your palm on one part and put the nail on the other and hold it with the same hand. So that can be a bit difficult, that's why I, I say if you need help with it, ask someone because you could hurt yourself. Um, just hold it in place, grab the hammer and slowly start hammering it. Just try your best to keep it in one spot, just like that. Nice and easy, don't need huge hits, just like, hit it really gently. And it'll start to go through a little bit. See, now what I've just done is gone in through the side a little bit too much, which means mine's wobbling around. You need to make sure you hold it nice and still, or else it, um, you'll just end up making a bad hole. So now I've just gone through, and I'm making it to the other end. And then you'll just go right through to the other side. See, now I've poked my hole all the way through. Now, the thing is, I made mine too close to the edge. So you might want to pull it out and try again. Or you can just keep it the same, but it might not be the best quality um, stylus. Um, so, because then it'll just go like this, your your paper clip will just go right through to the other side, barely going through the sponge, which means that it might not be the best. So I'm gonna might make my hole again. Make uh hold it in the correct spot, right in the middle. Again, try and hold it as best you can. Hold on. It's right there. See there, mine's not moving anymore. And then slowly, slowly. I've made it right through. So now, uh, grab your hammer again and pull it right out. Okay. Um, so now you'll want to grab your paper clip or your wire and open it with your hands. You can use pliers, but mine aren't the hardest paper clips, so I'm just going to open it up. Just like that. And I am going to grab it, poke it right through to the other side. Now it might be a little bit hard to get to the other side at first, 
just because it's hard to push through the sponge sometimes. But once you get it in, it's all good. You might find that you might even need to make your hole, one, the, the hole on the other side a little bit bigger, which is what I'm going to do. And just make it expand it a little bit, just so that it fits better. There we go. Okay, pull it out. Grab the paper clip um, and push through. Push, 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 push. It's hard. I know it's hard, but once you, it's pretty. That's why I said it was the hardest step. So I just got mine through, as you can see, right here. Um, now what you need to do is push it all the way to the end as far as you can go, probably about here. And you'll want to grab one end and wrap it, the smallest end, and wrap it around the pen. Just like so. Then you'll want to grab the hammer and hammer it so that it's nice and close to the pen. Then you'll want to grab, hold it right here, and grab it, twirl it, just like so. And just go all the way around as much as you can. And grab your hammer, hammer it down. Be very careful not to cut yourself. Okay, I'm done. So, as you can see, you'll need to be holding it from here. And the, that's how the electricity gets through. So it, it travels from the wire or paper clip through the sponge through, um, onto your screen. So, again, just trim off any little bits that you won't be needing. Um, now, you could just leave it like this, but if you want the ink, um, inside your um, stylus, then what you'll need to do is grab the ink, um, put it through the hole again, and see how um, it's not big, uh, if it's too long. So from the tip to this part right here, you you're gonna want to remember that. So about this much and you're gonna cut off that much from the tip so about here and you're just gonna snip it and then put it right through again it's too big so you're gonna want to cut another little bit check again good so the thing is, you might want to put some tape just so the ink doesn't spill into your sponge, which would be bad. Okay, I'm going to grab some tape. I've only got duct tape. Um, you don't have to do this. I do this just so that it doesn't happen. Um, grab the tape and tape it around the tip. Then grab your scissors. Simply cut it off grab your pen push it through 